Stepping up, never not on my grind. New York City time, another brother better, you will never find. I've been in my bag like groceries. Competition shouldn't take shots, take notes, please. Reporting live from the winner's side. Ready, try, keep a different vibe. Is you down the ride, down the tide? You will never know, you ain't never try. Work it out, hit the gym, hit the field. Hit the hey, yo, I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard on the job, you can see that. On my head is feedback. They clear the way when my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase double rings. Chase double rings. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase double rings. Yeah. Yeah. Beats. We with the machine, chase on the news. What I do? Lace up my shoes, chase double rings. Great colored coops. Oh no, no, I can't be number two. MVP the league most valuable. They sweet as apple juice. Talking trophies, I didn't grab the few. Can't match this attitude. I wear my heart on my sleeve, please. I move like the wind, can't catch this breeze, freeze. Stop you in your tracks, there's not no preseason. We seeking W's like Tupac used to throw up. Forget it, might as well forfeit your team, shouldn't even show up. What you wanna be when you grow up? They used to ask me. Naturally, I chose an athlete. Competition never matched me. We ain't go together. Like camouflage and polka dots. Focus on your position, just know your Spot. Show don't stop, it's a long season They planning on winning for the wrong reasons Trying to get my number retired, can't let these frauds beat us I figured out the recipe, never let opponents get the best of me I'm focused on my legacy Big chips, man, I need that Hustle hard, on the job, you can see that On my head is real good, we don't need your feedback They clear the way when my crew coming through What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase double rules What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase double rules Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase double rules Yeah, it beats, leave it in the street, case on the news Come slide, I'm with it. You see me now, on God, I'm lit. I know that you're trying to go be better. Run up the cash, you love to spend it. Better kill it and did it again. I'm with it, you know I'm down to win. I can't feel bad about it. I know you sad about it. No, you sad about okay. it. No, you sad about okay. it. I just got bags from Prada. Rolling up. I'm in a brand new model. It'll be here tomorrow. I don't got fears or problems. Only got real ones round them. Only got fears. It take a week to count it, then I'm back up, name the place and we back up, running these racks up, 100 mils a week after, die from laughter, when they come to handles, never had one, with a bad one, made a mill today, it ain't my last one. Oh, I had to get back up, I had to get back up, I can't take no off, you better call back up. Much appreciated, Coach. Smack dab in the middle of I-295 that encircles the city of Jacksonville in Northeast Florida. There's a good look at TIAA Bank Field. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Indianapolis Colts and the Jacksonville Jaguars. The shadows starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. This is taken at the three. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line.
Right. 60 out law. Check 53 is mine. Guys, it's game situation. Let's go. Let's go. On first down, Marsh into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off at about the 31. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10 yard. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Check out. Defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. To throw, Brissett. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Kenny Galladay, the intended receiver, but now it's third and goal. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. Boy, you'd hate to squander this great field position. Here's third and goal. Six guys. Here's Brissett. Now well, he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Kenny Galladay, his fifth touchdown now on the year. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. Team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Not to start that they were hoping for. The interception on the first play of the game, it leads to six points the other way. How do you rebound from here? Oh, that's a little bit of humor. Got to laugh that one off and not the ha-ha. That was very funny, but kind of like, can you believe that just happened? Let's go out and play now. Let's just start over. Brings up second and two at the 34-yard line. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Second and two. And he'll get that to Fournette complete. That one good for a gain of 13 for Jacksonville and a first down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. On first and 10, Marsh looking for Thomas, but that's intercepted. Picked up by Malik Hooker, and he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. He was trying to hit Thomas that time. A first down throw for Brissett. Wide open receiver complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. It'll be a gain of 17 and an Indianapolis first down. First down, Colts. Undercook, undercook, undercook. 
Whip, 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 whip. Watch the next one. Jack Butler. Put it through. Jack. A first down carry for Henry. And they'll get this down to the 10. 17 more yards. They had 17 on the previous snap as well. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Cracks, cracks. He's coming. Double up, double up. He's coming, double up. Double. First down, percent. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Paris Campbell with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Colts, they add on to their advantage. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now 14 to nothing. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Out of the pistol, it's Fournette. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Hey, team six, team six. Blue there, blue there. 53 is the mic, 53, check, 53. Let's go, defense, let's get out the field, defense. Ready, ready. On third down, Marsh. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, but it looked like a Jaguar was able to cover this thing, and so Jacksonville will keep control. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll be taken down, but first he gets deep into Indianapolis territory. It's a big play for the Jaguars. 42 yards. So now following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. A good response by the defense, sending them backwards after that huge gain last play. Ready, ready. 50, plant. Oh, you got deep? Five, five. Trip, Looking to throw on second down. Marsh. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Picked off down at the two. Boy, so another interception, CD, and it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. 
He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Down on the field, we've got an injured Colt after that last play. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. And they'll run it here. And he's able to get him a small cushion before being taken down at the five, a gain of three. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. the 15. Indianapolis moving the gain of 12. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. They'll run on first down. It's McGee. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. It's second and eight at the 20-yard line. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. second down. It's McGee. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. get it to the 31 and that's enough for the first five yards on the play there as the drive will continue just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us that shouldn't be an issue and then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay i think we just saw an example of that there didn't we important to do especially early in the game like they have Set to throw on first. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Play action now, Brissett. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion. For watch, watch a slap. Watch a slap. Watch a slap. And again, this time to the tailback. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. 
I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. It's third and long for Brissett. Able to find Deion Kane complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. First down. Brissett on first down. That one into the hands of Kane. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Back to the ground now, it's Henry. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. On first and ten, Brissett. That incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Draw play. This is Henry. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. He lost two there. And it's third down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Third down, Brissett. And the throw there going to be incomplete. There are a good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Mike, Second and three. Blitz coming and down he goes. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Come on. For the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. Let's go. Let's bring it. Yeah, yeah. Pro team spell. From the gun, Marsh. He lets it fly for Lockett. And unable to connect, incomplete. 
Uh, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And that's what friends are for. Right. <laughs> As the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way you know you turn it over there that's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot yeah. Fournette, a first down carry. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain and the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first On second down, here's Fournette. A six-yard pickup on the ground that time, and that'll make it third and four coming up. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. Once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. From the gun on third down, Marsh. That's to his running back, Leonard Fournette. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. Hey, hey, seven. Get ready. Throwing on first down. Marsh. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Yeah, let's get Hey, 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 hey. Mike, 53. Now Leonard Fournette. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. On third and two. Marsh, and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Kenny Moore, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Well, what's the plan of attack here? Very late second quarter, and look where the ball is. Yeah, a bad spot for you. But the defense has all three timeouts, so what you're telling your team is ball security number one. It's not all on the running backs if you decide to run the football. That offensive line has got to protect them and wedge out some space because you can't just kneel. They take three timeouts. They're going to get the ball back in good field position with a chance to put points on the board. You've got to try and get a first down and run out this first half. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Set from the gun on third. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Nine yards on the play and a first down. Stay with your man. Check, check. Fresno. 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 
They'll run with Henry. And he'll just burrow his way back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times, and what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And obviously not fooling anybody here as they stop him behind the line of scrimmage. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. So we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach and our EA Sports halftime report. Second half, ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Second half begins with a run by Henry. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. I remember watching Derrick Henry come out of Alabama and sitting with some scouts, and one of the debate points with him was, while at Bama, how often did he have to deal with contact near the line of scrimmage? They were so good up front that he often got to the second level pretty easily. I think he's starting to answer those questions with runs like that. He's a physical, physical guy. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. This is Henry. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here we go, D. Hey, it's, just, it's, just, it's just me and you. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Check. 53 is mine. Check. 53 is mine. You must be dreaming. Watch six, four, three, two. Watch twins. Watch twins. They just get the playoff. Now Brissett. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. 18, 18, top. Bravo. Let's go. Lee Frip. Lee Frip. On first down, Marsh. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that'll wind up incomplete. Trying to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Rock, rock it, rock it. Come on, huh? Check 52. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game. And they reacted poorly on that one. So the penalty certainly helps them out as they come up on second and five. After the penalty, it's Fournette. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. 
doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. From the gun on third down, Marsh. And he finds Seals Jones complete. And they'll get him to the ground. And he has another first down at the Colts' 29-yard line. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. We jet bombers. We two jet bombers. Hey, Sam off. This is Fournette. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Got his man. Caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. John Ross, his second touchdown on the season as his guys are back within a single score. Extra point was hooking, but he does make it through, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. Now, after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. From the 27, Brissett, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. From the gun, here's Brissett. That's complete to his receiver, Kane. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On first down, it's Henry. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Going jet sweep. Here's Campbell. Ooh, with a juke. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Anytime the offense shows what they call a shot play or a chunk play where they're trying to get big yardage, sometimes people just call it gadget plays, and you hold it to a game that we just saw there, you feel pretty good about yourself as a defense. They go play action with Brissett. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. 
Another try after the first down sack. Brissett, throw left side on target to Kane, complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 35. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. play will be blown up he'll lose yardage back at the 38 a loss of two there second down he has elite instincts from his linebacker spot he's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage a rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong but now it's second and 12 from the shotgun it's the set throwing middle and it's complete and he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 25-yard line. And the Colts' first down. Back now in Jacksonville. It's the Colts. They've got control of the football. They also have the lead as we start the fourth. Set now after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and ten. Now it's Henry. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. Throwing on second and eight. Brissett, they'll get this one to Galladay. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. The Colts on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. Here it's third and three. set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard and his kick is good and they will move up by 10 now 17 to 7 a big one there that gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game yeah bled a little time off the clock put some points on the board it's not totally out of reach yet but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender you go out on the field and say guess what you can put some points on the board but that won't beat us and he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Let's go. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Operating from the gun, Marsh. He gets it to Thomas. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 36 yards on the play. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Go, go. Back to throw. Marsh. And it's 
knocked away and incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. That'll bring up second down. Okay, partner, hyperbole alert, all right? I think that this has got to be the best game I've seen this secondary play this entire season. Doesn't matter whether they've been in man, zone, they've reacted, communicated, and really made plays on the football. They absolutely have. And the play on that last deep ball, the, maybe the best example of it, they've been solid all game long. You better be Back to the air on second down. Marsh. He's going to have the hook up to Ross. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. John Ross, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. As they have now chopped this lead down to three. The extra point splits the uprights. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. I don't want to say that they're completely against the wall here, Charles, but all of a sudden, with the run that they've been on on the other sideline, this is down to a three-point game. they got to be careful. Not much space from their back to the wall, though. So you're exactly right. They've got to be careful here. But this is where the value of note-taking and recall comes into play. What was working earlier? Why was it working? Can you get those types of matchups again? And can you run those plays that get you a little bit more breathing room and a little bit of space maybe a good spot to take a shot here second and a yard from the 34 and to the 42 yard line here and brought down there that one a first down pickup of eight and i'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here grind out some yardage work on that clock see if you can continue to tick it down definitely you want to bleed things out at this point right continue to possess the football gain some yardage and put the onus on the defense do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. On second and 11 now. Brissett looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 45-yard line. A much better effort we're seeing from him under center this week versus last week when he threw four picks. He has thrown the one in this game, but you're right. When you cut it down from four the previous week, and we always talk about adjustments, well, he made some in practice, and he continues to work on it during the game. I'm sure he's getting plenty of reminders about how to stay in the moment, stay focused on the task. And he's got him in the driver's seat here in the fourth quarter. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. On second down, Brissett again. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Hey man, hey man. Watch the boot. Watch the boot. Mike, 53. 53. Mike, Mike. And let's pin the mirrors back and go full strength. 53 to Mike. 53. Mike. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A gain of 11 that time and a Colts first down. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he'll get a little over 
two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Intercepted. Picked off at the 24. Through an opening, and there he goes. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they will not get a chance to return this end zone for a touchback. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Check me out, check me out, check me out. Now the set. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. They'll run with Fournette. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. And whistles and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 153 left. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. We own it. 32. Again, it's Fournette. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. 15, one, 15, one. Hey, watch the leg. Slam, slam, slam. Sponge. Hey, lock it. No, no, no. Check 31. Hey, Charlie. Be careful. Be careful. They'll run it again with Fournette. And yeah, he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that'll make this a seven-point game. And from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically... 
one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. He's back to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked by Ronnie Harrison. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used a calculator. I didn't worry about double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it, and sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. Ready? 60 Pittsburgh. Let's go, D. Let's go. Down to a knee for the Jags. Victory seemingly in hand. It's a loss of a yard. Bringing up third and 12. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. A great come from behind victory in this one, Charles, and really the difference, obviously, was that fourth quarter. They dominated. And it has to start with believing that you can make that comeback because we've been in games before. We've done games where you just look at one team and realize they have no chance of making it back. Not in the one we just saw here. They did it, and they did it well. So for Jacksonville, it's an important win for their postseason hopes as they at least get back to 4-5. and five. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Cincinnati Bengals. Meanwhile, for the Colts... Their season is on life support somewhat now at 3-6. and six. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Lambeau to take on the Packers. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports. <laughs>